attending a boring three-minute thesis, watching some YouTube pranks on our phones can be a good idea to do so. We need fast wireless internet. Unfortunately, in crowded areas, like here, speed of internet drops significantly. My name is Ali, and I am a PhD student of wireless communications. Today, I will explain the nature of this issue and propose a novel idea to solve it. Electromagnetic waves deliver YouTube to smartphones. To better understand it, join me and imagine that each electromagnetic wave is a tree, and YouTube is the fruit of that tree. Right now, one wave delivers YouTube to my phone only, and a different wave delivers it to Mandy's phone only. Interestingly, this is similar to farming. One tree produces only apples. The other tree produces only oranges. Therefore, to harvest oranges from an apple farm, we have to cut some apple trees to provide the space for orange trees. In the current technology, to deliver YouTube to more phones, some of the existing waves are cut. Consequently, it is impossible to maintain the speed of existing phones. This is where my PhD comes in, to remind us that nothing is impossible. In my thesis, I propose that different phones should receive YouTube from one single wave. This means that one single tree should produce different types of fruits, as shown in the picture. With this scheme, to harvest more types of fruit, we produce them on existing trees, and no tree will be cut. Similarly, to deliver YouTube to more phones, we reuse the existing waves, and no wave will be cut. Of course, this is a challenging engineering problem, and we are so proud that our laboratory is a pioneer. With this amazing idea, we increase the number of internet users, and the speed does not drop. Instead, something else is going to drop. Yes, the price of wireless internet will drop significantly so that we can always enjoy YouTube, particularly in a boring three-minute thesis. Thank you.